Before we begin, I would like to take a quick moment to thank all of my supporters on Patreon. Now, on to the video! Alcohol? Oh. I don't think I've ever played against this champion. Maybe I have. I don't know. <gasps> oh, it's a Poro! Oh! That's the- honestly, an ARAM feeding the Poros is my objective. I don't give a crap about anything else. <gasps> she wants to eat! Let the Moro eat! So this is an unlisted video. I don't know, how did I find this? I don't know, but it's about Braum, so. Yet again, the alcohol and tobacco. Not really sure where that is, but. There are many tales about Braum, the heart of the Frail Yard. They say he could chop down trees with his bare hands. I believe it. If anyone needed help, he would be there in an instant. Brom. Oh my gosh. I thought he... Oh my gosh. I love him. Why he does no one play him? He was just a man. Yet to our village, he was a hero. What you doing, Brom? When a troll boy was trapped, not even the mountain could stand in his way. So, why do people not play as? With a door as his shield, he could brave any threat. So if I'm forced to play top lane, I think I'm gonna take Braum. Even the smallest of lives were saved. Also, if it's glitching for you, it's kind of glitching for me, like frame skipping and stuff. Maybe that's why they unlisted it. But the like... world is a big place, and Braum knew this too. So he set off, knowing his tales were not through. I love him. Ah. Ah. All right, let's learn to play as him because if I'm thrown into top lane, you better believe I'm gonna play this man who has a heart Welcome of gold. Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Brock, the heart of the Freljord. And the heart of everyone. This if at first you do not succeed, please, tell me what it is like. Okay, well that's Rob is a hero of the Freljord, a champion strongman famed for his selfless and legendary feats. Once a simple goat herder, Brom found an unbreakable door and uses it as a shield to protect man and creature alike on his journey through Runeterra. In game, Brom is a tanky support with the ability to defend allies from a barrage of attacks He's before hammering out his own immense crowd control abilities. Oh, okay. Never mind. Mother always said, big things come in small packages. 
Did he just crush a Poro? <gasps> Let's hope uh, I never have to go top lane then. Still Whenever don't know Braum who I'd attacks ever an enemy, he applies a stack of his passive concussive blows. If Braum dishes out four blows to the head, he deals a burst of magic damage and stuns his enemy. For a brief period after, Braum's basic attacks against them deal extra magic damage, although they won't receive additional stacks of concussive blows. There are two things worth noting here. First, Braum's allies can help trigger the stun with basic attacks and on-hit abilities. Second, Braum can initiate concussive blows against multiple enemies simultaneously. I don't like how close he has to get. Like, I only like playing Braum's range Q because is I Winter's hate bite. getting that close. Braum punches his shield, sending out a frozen skill shot that damages and heavily slows the first enemy struck. Winter's Bite also applies concussive blows, giving him the opportunity to stun distant enemies. Okay, but that's Winter's so Bite fun. is essential for gaining lane dominance. Tag your opponent with it from range to give your marksman opportunities for great trades. I want him to adopt me. Brahm's W is stand behind me. A targeted ability that Brahm can only use on himself and his like, friends. I feel like stand he behind makes me soup. sends Brahm leaping to an allied champion or minion, giving him and his ally bonus armor and magic resistance. I feel like he makes the best Note soup. Note that Brahm will automatically stand between his target and the nearest enemy champion, allowing him to effortlessly block skill shots with his awesome body. Seriously, check out those pecs. I love how they're like stand behind stand these behind pecs me and stuff. Whenever I'm like, you're separated from your allies. no, no, no. Since it allows you to cross over terrain, you can keep yourself in a good position while buffing their defenses. He has a heart of gold. Unbreakable, Brahm's E is his signature defensive ability. On activation, Brahm raises his shield in a target direction for a few seconds, blocking all damage from the first incoming attack or spell. Any subsequent damage from that direction is reduced by a percentage while the shield remains active. This seems so nice. The most notable thing about Unbreakable is that Brahm's shield intercepts and stops all incoming projectiles. Why is Even I... those targeted at allies behind him. This allows Brahm to tank damage and crowd control effects for his team. Here's one nuance worth pointing out. Though Unbreakable doesn't intercept non-projectile abilities, he does reduce the damage he takes provided his shield is facing the source of the damage. I don't know why no For one example, plays him. For example, Unbreakable faces the center of Zyra's ultimate, Brom will take reduced damage. But Timo's gonna die. Damage to his allies. <laughs> Brom uh. can cast other abilities and move slightly faster while the shield is raised, and keeps his shield pointed at the initial target direction regardless of his movement. Like, Finally, as know. awesome as Unbreakable is, it's not awesome enough to block turret attacks or true damage. Mm. Unbreakable can negate major area of effect spells for your teammates. Save it for hard-hitting ultimates to block off a barrage of yeah, attacks. Yeah, like, oh, that's perfect. Brahm's ultimate is Glacial Fissure. Brahm slams Ooh. his shield into the ground. The guy's mic just went weird, that's that funny. knocks up, damages, and slows enemies in a line. Enemy units immediately around Brahm are knocked up significantly higher than enemies further away. If there are no enemy champions immediately around Brahm, the, the first champion in the that? shockwave is Who's knocked up higher bear? instead. Glacial Fissure also leaves behind a large zone of ice that slows all enemies. Well, I'll learn eventually. Glacial Fissure is great for disengaging from team fights. The ability creates a slow zone that will handicap your opponents, especially in the narrow corridors of the jungle. Brom strikes his own destiny. Braum One of his strikes. many ability, Stand Behind Me, is an extremely versatile skill that has several offensive and defensive options when paired with the rest of his kit. Let's look at a few important plays you'll need in order to become master of the mustache. The first is blocking for an ally. Determine what direction the most damage or crowd control is coming from. See, I then wouldn't be good at to this. Get between danger and your ally before using Unbreakable to disrupt <sighs> the attack. People are like, oh, you're new. Play this support. I'm like, I'm not good and at requires support. Good timing. When assisting allies in a chase or aggressive play, you stand behind me instead as a gap closer. By choosing an ally closest to your enemy, you can often put yourself in range to slow them with Winter's Bite. Since the dash learning, automatically so. places you on the side closest to your enemy, you'll have an easier time lining up the skill shot. Yeah, if y'all get in the team or see Redhead Gamer Girl, please you can also jump to ally do minions, not roast allowing me. for some tricky Just plays me. in lane. I'm learning. Finally, if one of your friends gets caught out in a bad situation surrounded by enemy champions, Rom can come to the rescue. You stand behind me to jump to the center of the action. 
That person is level 17 though. around your ally with your ultimate. This will give your team a chance to disengage or allow other allies to step in and help if needed. In lane, a successful Braum will constantly look for opportunities to stack his passive for a stun. By tagging Janna with Winter's Bite, he makes it easy for Quinn to follow up and pick her off with the bonus damage and stun. Seems Turning starting. his attention to Vayne, he stacks concussive blows with another Q and basic attacks, helping focus her down before she can land a killing blow on Quinn. I'm starting to learn how to follow. Stuff. Braum is especially adept at helping allies survive ganks with his W and E. That's nice. As soon as Quinn is caught out, he immediately uses Stand Behind Me to boost her defenses and help her survive focus fire from Pantheon and Vayne. Note that Braum makes sure to stay behind Quinn while using Unbreakable so he can tank any attacks directed at her, forcing Vayne to hit him instead as they retreat. Braum's Unbreakable completely negates damage from the first attack or spell that hits him, so with careful timing, you can effectively cancel your opponent's most damaging attack. Here, Braum blocks the Gold card, and the damage reduction gives him just enough defense to survive. Braum excels when sticking close to his allies. As soon as Twitch appears, Braum repositions to the front of his marksman, ready to not only intercept Twitch's damage, but also hit both enemies with Glacial Fissure. Oh, that's Leona. I was like, Rather why do you have a Leona kills, as well? Braum sticks with Ezreal and applies concussive blows to that's any of his targets. Support. I'm glad they have red and blue now. When as much playing as I love Braum, purple, your goal isn't so much yeah, to dive I mean, on the enemy as it is to keep your squishy friends unsquashed. It's gonna be a bad. Stand behind oh, no. his low cooldown allows Braum multiple chances to reposition and help allies in long team fights. In this example, Braum quickly finds himself singled out after committing to defend Garen. He uses Stand Behind Me to jump to Misfortune, and although he dies, he helps MF pick up the triple kill. But does he get the assist? Okay, he does get the assist. A well-played Braum boldly throws himself in harm's way to protect his friends. See, I feel like I would do that. Unbreakable has and Luke and Colton would be like, why did you do that? And be like, I damage. was With I great was positioning here, Braum turns a lethal AoE combo into more of a mild annoyance, almost single-handedly turning the tide of this I fight. Do it right. It'd just be bad. Braum's big heart needs a lot of protection. Focus on health, armor, and magic resistance. Tenacity is also especially. I bet all of these items are now different. Braum will be tanking crowd control meant for his ally. Mix in cooldown reduction to maximize Braum's own crowd control, and you'll have a heavy frontline specialist ready to defend against any amount of aggression or unexpected bear wrestling. Thanks for tuning in to the Braum Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video. So I was going to say who my main is right now. Main. I have, I'm trying to, but she doesn't have a champion spotlight, nor does she have anything. Train hard, little so. portal, and one day you'll be strong like Keeps the baby. mustache. <laughs> but you'll just have to keep watching, because I'll say it eventually. What do you call the wife of a hippie? A Mississippi.